I love Animal Crossing New Horizons, even though it's a dead game. However, I get so bored of the game sometimes that I spontaneously delete my save data and start fresh on a brand new island. Yeah. After giving my name, selecting a map, and barely avoiding getting detained at the airport, I was ready to begin Animal Crossing for the eighth time. I don't really care about fruits. I don't care about flowers. I don't care about villagers. So let's see how this goes. Ooh, okay, pears. I like pears. Pears are great. Shout out to all the pears. My official starter villagers for this island are... <coughs> my girl. Oh my God. You didn't tell me you were leaving too. Wanna get left behind? Let's go. Sorry, sis. I didn't mean to do... Oh my God. Tank's here too. Okay, the introduction to the game is fairly simple. Place down your housing plot alongside your two villagers, collect sticks and fruit for Tom Nook because he told you to, and get turned at the bonfire to celebrate. All leading up to the most important part of the tutorial, naming your island. The name that I'm planning of calling this island is Camp Radic. I guess this kind of spoils the theme. Yeah, I'm planning on doing a summer camp island. Woo. <laughs> There's a specific inspiration for why I'm doing this. Well, there's two. One, Boys Crossing on Instagram, who literally also just started doing one. So kind of funny how we have the same brain when it comes to island themes. I love that for me, because that means I can copy their island. But more importantly, uh, the quarry. There's a specific element to said game that I feel like doing in this game. If you know, you know. And if not, we'll figure it out as we go on. Nooktopia, dang it. He was supposed to say nook tits. Ugh. Whatever, nook tits. And after crashing into bed and hallucinating a conversation with the pop star, you wake up on your first day, ready to start your adventure, which requires you to immediately start off by paying bills because even in Animal Crossing, nothing's free. And with all of that out of the way, all I have to say is welcome to my island, bitch. Real quick, please subscribe to the channel. I'm super close to 100K and I want a silver plaque. Also comment down below if you still play Animal Crossing in 2023 just to prove Twitter wrong. It is officially day one on the new island. Whoa, we have a lot to do. But before that, I want to talk to you. Yo, Vis, that spot you found for me is just incredible. That's what she said. I do not plan on keeping Tank in the long run. I will be honest but he'll be fun to have for now. I've never had him before, so can't wait to see what he'll bring to the island. Maybe he'll be exciting. But with this flop out of the way, we have my girl. Where does she go? Hello? Quinn? Hello? Oh, there you are. Oh my God, Quinnifer, what are you doing all the way over here? Yo, this, I'm getting a real good vibe from the tent plot you picked for me. Thanks, you're welcome. We gotta look out for each other here. If you ever need anything, don't be shy. Ex mm -hmm. Even on a brand new island, she still has my back because she is my stepsister. This is me and Quinn. We're like sibling bond here, you know? We're able to talk shit, but we still have each other's back when we need them. Um, it's day one. What do I do on day one? Oh, we have to talk to Tom Nook. Hi, sir. Hi, Tom Nook. How you doing? As you can see, it is quite cozy in here. It's funny how cozy doesn't always mean comfortable, hmm? Yes, it does. <laughs> if it's not comfortable, it's not cozy. It's just cramped. You can say it. We won't care. And don't mind me as I skip the dialogue because I think I would rather explain it than Tom Nook. We're gonna start off with our workshop right over here. I see that you've discovered my DIY workbench. Yes, yes, the workshop. Each participant will make and keep their own tools and receive a set of recipes. We're gonna learn how to build things by gluing things together and using our hammer. All it requires is that you grab things to make a thing. And today we're doing a fishing rod, which requires three no, five branches. We have to work super duper hard to grab five branches. I have no idea how long this is gonna take. 12 seconds later. Oh my God, five, wow. That was so hard. It only took me like three seconds. And now we craft our fishing rod. Somehow he doesn't tell us how to do it. We just do it. I guess we follow the recipe on our own, but it's kind of funny how we use a hammer and a wrench to create a fishing rod. Where does the string come from? Where does the bait come from? How do we do that with just five branches? I don't know, but that just shows how talented we are as villagers, further proving my theory that Animal Crossing villagers are the strongest characters in the Nintendo Cinematic Universe. I was about to say, speaking of fishing, and then this bitch stole my line. Tom Nook, let me say it, shut up. Speaking of fishing, oh my gosh. 
He's giving me a fishing tutorial, but I think we should use this time to catch things for Tom Nook. There's a specific reason why, so we might as well just do it, but I'm gonna craft a net first because I'd rather get some bugs as well because you know, they're easier to catch since you can see them, blah, blah, blah. Oh, and speaking of, my girl Quinn came clutch and gave me the, oh my God, I just took in the fact that I only have 20 slots again. My own pockets I have to pay to have more room in there. If that's not the biggest scam, in the Animal Crossing Cinematic Universe. I don't know what is. Nets crafted and ready to go. Um, this is a fun mission that they don't actually straight up tell you. It's just kind of alluded to. But you need to catch five critters in order to unlock a special character. Here's one critter right over here. The first official bug on the new island, a yellow butterfly. Shouldn't all butterflies be yellow? <laughs> Okay, Tommy, hello, my boy. Oh, Vis, it's great to see you. That campfire was a lot of fun. We're keeping resident surfaces open at night, so feel free to stop by if you need to talk about anything. So when do you go to bed? You're like 12. Here's another critter, my second one, a common butterfly. And here's a fish right here. I am pretty good at fishing, but every time I'm on cam- Every time I'm on camera, I always fumble, case in point. I wanna see if I can catch a special bug. One bug that spawns in a specific spot. Oh my God, and it came right as soon as they talked about it. Hi! And just like that, I already caught a wasp. And the best part about that is, no, what? I thought you get Nook Miles for that. Oh, you get Nook Miles for getting stung by the bee. Ugh, now I have to injure myself in order to like financially help me. That seems also kind of fucked up. Here's another butterfly. Bam. Um, I'm only catching bu- Okay, fuck you. I'm only catching bugs right now, which um, poor Blathers, because Blathers is who you unlock. He hates bugs. So I think it's really rude of me to only give him bugs in order to like move him onto this island. Hi, Quinn. Oh my God, look at us twinning with our nets. This is like sibling energy right over here. All right, I think with this, I am going to have enough bugs to give the Tom Nook, right? One, two, three, four. No, only four. I'm stealing Tank's bug from him because I just feel like doing that. Ooh, he's pissed. He's pissed off. Look at him walking away. He doesn't even want to look at me because I just stole the bug from him. Ha ha. All right, speaking of, we only need one more bug. I don't know where, or I guess I could get a fish. You know what? Let's try again. Let's see if I can catch a nice, big, juicy fish to donate to our good friend, Tom Nook. Um, I could catch the fish or I could get that grasshopper that just hopped on by and really piss off Blathers by only giving him bugs as a way to promote him to move to this island. I found a creature. Oh, splendid, let's have a look. I forgot that I'm pretty sure I have to do this one by one. Oh God. But at least with our first donation, we have another app, the Critterpedia. It's funny how like you unlock apps on your phone by, you know, doing things instead of just buying them. I'm surprised there isn't a Nook Phone app store. Honestly, honestly, in the next game, what if they brought an app store and like you were able to get like optional apps? for like specific things, like maybe like a social media style thing. And maybe with that social media style app, you're able to find where your villagers are on your map. Or like you're able to just text them and be like, hey, where are you? And they'll be like, oh, I'm over here. By the way, I just literally lied to Tom Nook. He asked me if I was playing with the DIY workshop. I said yes, even though I clearly haven't. And look at him lying again. I have seen you tinkering around a bit over there. Tom Nook is just lying straight to my face. That's why he's a billionaire. But at least I got more DIY recipes out of it. Hell yeah. Hold the phone, someone's calling. I finally donated all the bugs, by the way. Blathers, is that you? Oh, what splendid timing. Oh my God, and just like that, we have Blathers on the museum. What? I mean on the island, I know how to speak. And immediately Tom Nook has me doing free labor once again because I need to find a spot for Blathers to live on the island. And we have to use our big juicy brains to think of the perfect spot where Blathers should live. I'm gonna do that later. Let's just put him on the beach. Ah, uh, yes. We're just gonna shove Blathers tent here for now. Oh my God, Quinn, move. <gasps> I just killed Quinn. Oh no, she's over there. She's here, she's fine. Sorry, sister, I didn't mean to do that. But with that out of the way though, Blather's tent, done. And the only main big mission that I have left to complete on day one is to pay off my house 
with 5,000 Nook Miles. And currently I have 1,000 Nook Miles. Oh wow, I'm actually making good progress. We only need 4,000 more, so let's do that. First things first, I'm gonna take this photo. Bam. And with that, I get 300 Nook Miles. We have a lot of things here that we can do. Flower power. I can plant 10 flowers and maybe get some Nook Miles with that. Let's put all the flowers over here. Well, unfortunately, the Nook Twins only gave me five, so... Eh, at least it'll make some progress. Another good idea, right away, I can put something on the bulletin board. Um, let's create a post. Post. There. That's my first post on the new island. Boom. 300 more Nook Miles. Ooh, we can just shake some fruit and sell them. That might work. And also clear out some weeds and maybe craft some more tools. Yeah, I'm gonna have to craft a shovel at least. So we might as well grab some things and do that. I got more points for using my phone. There's some benefits to that. Those damn phones aren't ruining our lives. Look at that, I just got 300 more miles. I need to craft an ax so that I can chop down some trees for more nook miles. That requires one stone right over here and some branches. Please, can this tree just give me five branches so I don't have to run around? One, two, three, four. I just need one more, please. One more. <laughs> oh, it came while I was sneezing. I didn't realize. Five branches, yada, yada, yada. There are some fish here. Oh, wait, the fish. Oh, there's the fish. Should I try catching the fish? Will I actually do a good job this time? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I got it. Yay, and it's a black bass. Okay, I am going to quickly grab some more pears and then we're gonna sell them off to Timmy and craft an ax and then I'm gonna come back out here and just chop some trees down and see if I can get Nook Miles. Basically, I'm trying to get Nook Miles. I think now is also a great time to admit to the entire world. Um, I don't plan Oh, why am I wa- Oh, because I have to talk to him about blathers. Right, I forgot about that, okay. I don't really plan on like cheating on this island as in, you know, usually when I like reset and start off, I try to like quickly get to three stars as soon as I can, just so that I can start designing right away. But I think this time around, I really want to try to like actually play the game every day and like not time travel at all and try to like earn all my bells, earn all my nook miles by myself without like treasure islands or whatever, just for the first two weeks, just until I get to three stars and then after that I'll start cheating again. I have sold pears to Timmy. What are they gonna do with those pears? I don't know. That gave me some nook miles how much did it give me 300 all right let's craft an x real quick wow that was so quick thanks editing and i guess like we could access this machine right now before i forget um tom nook you don't need to explain it to me i will explain it nook shopping is a personal shopping service and the abd is where you can put all your bells does it give you nook miles yes it does you can get only 50 on your first day but at least that's that and i think if you buy like five items you can get nook miles so what if i just bought the cheap items right now because i don't have a lot of bells 40 bells dang it i'm gonna have to sell more things to get things oh wait i got nook miles already oh you only needed one for the first one okay there we go we're at 2950 nook miles i basically need 2050 more let's get to chopping some trees i don't know how many i required for the first nook miles reward thing but let's see i'm just gonna chop all the trees down first and then we'll just come back running around and picking them all up just you know to make things a little easier Ooh, and i'm pretty sure i can at least try <gasps> Fuck, of course the first one was the money rock and I duh, I'm not gonna get enough bells from this one. Dang it. I don't know how many do I have to chop down with these trees to like get nook do you you do get nook miles for chopping down trees, right? Oh there, okay. Bam. That's 300 more. It is nice though. Can I just say that? Like, it, it really is nice. I talked about it before. This is the first island I've had. Um, I'm literally wearing a shirt that I got back in 2020 when I got my vaccine. So it's very strange how like nostalgic everything feels right now. Although granted, you know, when I played the game for the first time, I had no idea what I was doing. And now I know literally everything about this game, literally everything. This is gonna sound shady, but like every single time people comment, like giving me advice, in my comment section, I'm just like, I know. And it's like, thank you. I know you guys are just doing that to be kind. And like, I appreciate it anyways. I've been playing this game since launch. 
I know way too much about the series as a whole. Keep commenting advice if you want, because like, if I'm not gonna hear it, maybe there is somebody in the comments section who would appreciate it. So do it for them, but just letting you know, I know, <laughs> okay? I don't know how to say that without sounding shady. So let's just move on from that. I'm gonna collect some weeds. I think if you collect like a lot, you can actually get a lot of Nook Miles from selling weed to Timmy and Tommy. Let's see, how many weeds have I collected so far? 30. So I guess if I could get 69, you know, I can just sell like a full stack and hopefully that would give me some Nook Miles. I have some pears in my pockets as well that I'm gonna sell and we're gonna do that. How many trees do I need to chop? Oh my God, a hundred. I have to chop 70 more times in order to get another Nook Miles reward. I have no idea, by the way, how long it's gonna take me to get these 5,000 miles. This is like the one part of the game where you can't really like cheat to get the 5,000 miles. You have to kind of do it on your own terms. There's no way to like rig the numbers, which I am grateful for that because that makes it a lot harder. When your games are challenging, that's what makes them more fun and more enjoyable to replay every now and then. That's the main reason why I love resetting. I love change. I love trying new things and doing things differently. I hate sticking to one routine. That's just how I am. I don't know, I've always been like that. I hate falling into a routine. That's like one of my biggest fears in life too, not to get like sentimental right now <laughs> on the main, is just like falling into a routine and just being stuck forever. So that's that love to see that it reflects in my Animal Crossing experience as well, because I'm someone who is known for resetting. I haven't been this excited to play Animal Crossing in so long. Who would have thought that resetting was what I needed to do? So sorry to all the Willow stands, but I needed to do this. Y'all want more Animal Crossing content? Y'all want me to keep Willow or y'all want me to make more Animal Crossing content? Cause it's one or the other at this point. Oh wow, I picked way more weeds than I needed to. I said I was only gonna pick 99 of them. Okay, we have 99 plus 50, wait, 51. Let's make it 150. I'm gonna sell all of those. And maybe I can buy some things. Let's see what Timmy and Tommy have in store. All right, first let's sell our weeds and also the fruit that I've picked up. I'm pretty sure I picked up a few. We'll sell that, that. Oh, we can sell our beehive too. 3,000 bells. And with said 3,000 bells, what do they have for sale? Do they have exciting items? Oh, a beach ball. I guess I should buy some flowers as well. I'm gonna buy a watering can. Um, I know I can just craft it, but <laughs> We're gonna buy some flowers as well. Let's see, tulips, rose, or lilies. I'm gonna grab the tulips because I love tulips. And we can buy some recipes right now too. We might as well get this DIY set. Might as well buy this camp stove. I mean, camp stove, hello. I'm making a summer camp island. This is the perfect item for the island. And I only have 900 bells left. So I guess I will buy the slingshot recipe. I literally just said I know everything about this game, but I don't remember if you get the <laughs> if you get the recipe for it by yourself, but who cares? It's fun to have right now. I can craft a slingshot right away. Ooh, if I sell 50 more weeds, I can get the next achievement. So I might just go and collect some more weeds. We have how many nook miles? I only need 900 more. So I think if I collect 50 weeds, I might have enough, but let's see. What else am I able to craft right now? Maybe I could do some crafting. Ooh, this is me being big brain. I'm gonna craft some log steaks right now and just have them ready to go for a specific event that happens later on. If you know, you know. How many do you need? I'm just gonna craft four of them. I have enough to make four, so let's just do it. Pro tip. If you're able to, if you're also on day one of your new island right now, just craft them right now. Do it, do it, because I say so. I can craft a slingshot, bam. I already have a slingshot, that's exciting. And I can craft a watering can. I already have, I already have one? Oh right, I bought one. <laughs> Let's craft this wash tub. I don't know. I don't need a wash tub right now. I have a washing machine, but it's still fun to have. And did that give me miles? How many miles did it give me? Please tell me it gave me 900. Nope, only 300. Okay, it was worth a shot. Ooh, we have a nice big juicy patch right over here. Hopefully this is 50 weeds. Um, even if it's more than 50 weeds, I might as well. I like, what if I just cleaned up the island? Thank God. 
that they got rid of the whole weeds ruining your island perfect score rating thing. In older games, like weeds would affect your island rating and like you had to have zero weeds on your island in order to have a good star rating. Not in this game. I don't know if people know this, but like you actually don't need to pick your weeds. You can have a five star island with a bunch of weeds everywhere. The only reason why people say have under 150 is so that they're able to grow because you need under 150 for them to start growing. I don't know why. I guess it's for like performance, you know, the game performance. Maybe if there's too many weeds and they're all like fully grown, it like causes lag. That's most likely why. Animal Crossing New Horizons, not my favorite Animal Crossing game, but I will still defend it with my life. If I had to choose one thing, only one thing to say that they did right in this game, it's the weed designs. Like, look at this. Look how sexy these weeds are. I forgot that I have flowers in my pockets. Um, where is my flower garden that I've started? We might as well continue it. Let's plant these five more weeds. Hopefully these give me Nook Miles rewards. We'll do a perfect square. And then I'm gonna plant this last one over here, far away from everybody else because it's an outcast. I forgot that the watering can only waters one square at a time at the beginning. Oh my God, it's like Stardew Valley. We got 300 from this one and this one gives us 300. Oh my God, just like that. I already have 5,000 miles. I did not mean to water the resident services tent. That's not how you upgrade it, sir. I'm gonna sell my weeds real quick to a 12 year old and then we shall do what we've been waiting for. Oh, you'd like to pay your moving fees? Very well, you owe me 5,000 miles. Yes, and just like that, I'm free and clear of debt. I am able to upgrade my house, so we might as well do that. I hate that you have to talk to him again though to upgrade your house because like upgrading your house is mandatory, right? So it's like, if you're ever interested, please do come see me. Like you have to upgrade your house in order to progress the game. Why can't we just upgrade our house in this same text bubble instead of having to talk to him again? I never understood that. Animal Crossing, please make things more seamline in the next game. Yay, and now we have Nook Miles plus features whatever the word is. A very underrated feature in this game, honestly, because Nook Miles Plus is the easiest way to grind, to grind. Like, look at this, you can get 600 miles. No, more than 600. 300, 700, 1100, 1700. You can get 1700 miles just from doing all of these. Catching bugs, selling shells, catching a carp, catching five fish, and earning 5,000 bells from selling things. Those are all things that are so easy to do. You kind of just do them as you play the game and you earn miles from that. Shout out to the Nook Miles Plus feature, now registered for Miles Redemption Services. Thank you. What does that mean? Oh, I can do this. What can I, ooh, right. You can get a Nook Miles ticket. You can get the tool ring and upgrade your pockets. I mean, like I, I, I might as well just get a tool ring right now. Shout out to the tool ring. I never really redeemed for this on the first day because I feel like it's worth it to just save your miles and spend it on other things. Tool ring isn't like an essential thing. It just makes the game a lot easier. I got it anyways. I should have saved those miles for something else, but who cares? But just like that, day one is officially complete for me at least. That's all I like to do on the first day. Um, yeah, and that's the end of day one. How exciting. We're now moving on to day two, which for me will be in 24 hours, but for you, it's gonna be in 24 milliseconds. And we are starting off bright and early in the morning with some announcements. Hi, sir. Hi, daddy. I will be honest. I kind of prefer when Tom Nook gives announcements over Isabel, not because of Tom Nook himself, but just like this overall setting. Seeing Tom Nook in front of everybody outside it just looks so much more fun compared to when Isabel does it indoors. How cool would it be if Isabel did her morning announcements in a different location every morning? That would have been really cool. That was kind of a missed opportunity. Anyways, Tom Nook is talking over here. Um, Blathers is here, yay. That's fun. Also, the airport is open. That's even more exciting. We'll get into that shortly. Why do I keep hitting my microphone? Hi, Quinn. Hello, sister. How you doing? Oh, hey, Proper. What brings you here? 
I think you're better at this morning thing than I am proper. Then why are you up? You could have just went back to sleep. My house is fully upgraded. And I think it's so funny that the other two are still in their tents. Those slackers. Get to work. Pay off your Nook Miles, Quinn. I believe in you. What do we have in store? First things first, we got some miles right away. Ooh, what a great way to start things off. Also, ooh, our Nook Miles Plus things ready to go. We might play around with those later. I guess the first thing I should do immediately is say hello to Tommy. Hello, my baby. This, congratulations on your new home. A home is sure to open up so many more opportunities for you. I agree. Like I can have walls now. Kimmy and Tom Nook are chatting away. What did they have to say? Let's be nosy. So you see, since the number of homeowners is increasing, I agree that we need to build a shop. When it comes to building supplies, our customers' homes should take priority. This man is betraying his own sons. His sons need help building a shop. And he said no. He is making sure that they are not growing up to be Nepo babies. I can actually respect that, Tom Nook. I was going to talk shit about that, but like, maybe he was ahead of his time with that. And now... It's day two, so day two missions, great. Ooh, and just like that, Tom Nook gives us our first Nook Miles ticket because the airport's unlocked. If you're not new to this channel and you've seen my many reset videos before, you would know what that means. And although we do have a lot of missions that we need to do right away, like unlocking the shop and such, Actually, I guess we should talk to Timmy. Timmy is here. This poor child needs help with something. His own father won't even help me, so he's crawling over to me, the new guy, the stranger, in hopes of me helping him out. We need to get a shop on this island, you know, so we can buy things and sell things. That's what you do at a shop. And of course, that means we need, oh God, I just remembered how much we need. 30 pieces of each wood and 30 iron nuggets. They have you working hard on day two of the new island. I can respect that, but at the same time, can't you at least help out a little bit? What do you want? I'm watering him. I didn't mean to do that. I heard you're getting stuff together to build us a shop. I found something that might help. Oh, he's giving me iron nug- Oh, five iron nuggets already from Tank? Why, thank you, kind sir. That's very kind of you. I forgot how many items I have in my pockets. Oh my goodness. Let me just quickly clear out my pockets. And now, while I'm out here, first thing I shall do is go and say hello to Blathers my baby. And yes, I know that I could keep him in a tent because the tent is very aesthetically pleasing. And I feel like this is actually a nice spot for like a beachside museum research station. But I want to upgrade my museum because I want Brewster on my island. And also, I just like the museum a lot. Blathers is here and we have another mission on our hands on day two. Blathers, is gonna talk a lot. Let's just skip the dialogue. We need to donate 15 critters and fossils as well. So thankfully because of that, I have a pole vault and a shovel now. That's how you unlock those. So I guess we'll get started on that mission alongside our other mission, alongside another mission that I'm imposing on myself. First of all, Jacob here gave me a DIY recipe, the first bottle, shout out to Alpha Rad. I need to construct some tools first this and this, which thankfully for me, I have enough materials for that already. And with those crafted, we can now travel to the other sides of the island. But before we do that, there is a little thing that I wanna do first. Ignore my fan, it's really hot, don't judge me. It is day two, and I said before that the airport is fully unlocked. I say this every single time I reset my islands. You're able to go villager hunting as soon as it unlocks. And since Tom Nook gives us one ticket for free, um, we still need more tickets because I don't think one is going to be enough. My rule for my first ever villager hunt on the new island, always, I just kind of like to take the first three villagers who I find. So for that, I'm going to need two more tickets, which means we need 3,000 more miles. So we're about to do a lot of grinding. We might as well start off with all these Nook Mile Plus rewards over here. That could be fun. Just group stretch, stretching, I know how to speak, hitting rocks, chopping wood, planting, and catching bugs. What a fun day for me so far. We could do it right away. Here's a butterfly, already making some progress. Actually, the first thing that might be easier to do is to just chop all these trees down. Okay, never mind. That works out anyways. Um, I got Nook Miles for breaking a tool. So that's fun. 
Okay, we made progress. Yay for me. There's a money spot right over here. I'm like 90% sure you can get Nook Miles for planting a money tree. Plant it. Yes, and you do get Nook Miles for that. See, my big brain, I remember things. I'm so smart. I need a stone. And I mean, I have a shovel on me, so we could just hit this rock right over here. Another cute pro tip that I do, I always like to dig two holes right there to use them as an anchor, just so that way I'm able to hit this rock eight times and actually get all eight items that spawn out of it. And it's great too. I got two more iron nuggets out of that as well. Did I get more Nook Miles? Ooh, I did for hitting a rock. I forgot you do that as well. That gave me 500, whoa. I already have enough miles for one ticket. I only need a thousand and something more for the second one. We can catch some bugs right over here. I think I needed five for some Nook Miles. So let's see, that's bug number one, bug number two. Oh. Quinny, hello. What's up? I heard you were getting stuff together for a shop. Thanks for doing your part for Camp Raddick. Yeah, I'm doing my part. What are you doing? Oh my God. Wait, she gave me a shovel. Oh, never mind. Sorry for complaining. She's helping me out. Thank you, Quinn. And back to grinding up for miles. I am gonna start off by chopping down some trees and getting some wood because that's a very good thing to do. And while I'm at it, um, let me just quickly do this because I'm pretty sure you get miles for getting stung by a bee. Very masochistic if you ask me, but eh, I'll do anything for coin. Wait, I didn't get miles for that. Don't you get miles for getting stung by a bee? Did I just get stung by a bee for no reason? Okay. Ooh, but if I place down one more furniture item, I think this bug should count. Yes, you get nook miles for placing down 10 items. Boom, 300 more. We only need 1100 more miles. So, hurrah. We're getting closer and closer to the end goal. I just chopped down trees and I got 300 more miles. I need to catch two more bugs to get some more. So let's go hunting for some bugs right now. There should be a lot. It's summertime. Honestly, I feel like summertime is the best time to reset and play. It's just, I don't know, summertime, like I said, Animal Crossing is a game that you can play all year round. But for me, I feel like summertime is the best time to play. Days are longer. There's more critters spawned everywhere. I feel like especially in New Horizons, the island just looks better in the summertime. The summer weeds are my favorite. It's just cute <laughs> overall. So yeah, I hate summer in real life, as I've said many times on this channel, but shout out to summer and Animal Crossing. It's a win from me. I just realized um, I sold 19 bug or 19 weeds to Timmy when I was supposed to sell 20. I thought I had 20 weeds in my pocket. What the hell? How did I miscount that? <laughs> Ugh, now I have to pick up one more weed and just go back in and sell that to Timmy just so I can get some more Nook Miles so I can go on a villager hunt. We need to get 400 more miles. 400. And right away, I can do the little exercise thing. I haven't done it yet. Ooh, this is going to be my first time doing it on the new island. It's going to look so weird because <laughs> there's only two villagers. Why is it just Tank and Quinn and it's so uneven? I mean, I guess I'm over here so I could do it with them. I'm the fifth person joining them today. Here we go. We stand up. No, I'm kidding. I'm not going to stand up. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I'm joining these people on their exercise. Oh God, now I have to spin. Okay, here we go. I should have done motion controls for this instead of buttons because now I have to do them both. Nope, go this way. Go that way. <laughs> I'm so off. It's awkward. Woo, 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 woo. Oh God, now I have to touch my toes. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> oh God, now I have to jump, 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 woo. Woo, woo, woo. And just like that, we're done. Our first ever exercise to, I'm out of breath. <sighs> oh my God, <laughs> that was a bad idea. 300 more, so I only need 50 more miles. 50 more miles. What could I do? Ooh, I can plant a fruit. Where are my pears? Wait, I got more miles. Ooh, I got nook miles just for earning miles. And just like that, we have 4,000 miles. I'm out of breath from doing the exercise, hang on. I need a breather. Finally, we get to do a fun thing. We get to redeem for two Nook Miles 
tickets and Tom Nook over here gives us one more Nook Miles ticket for free with Orville. We have three tickets, so we're able to go on a villager hunt for our first three villagers right now. Ooh, this is exciting. We get to see the first three people who move on right away. This is like basically auto filling, but I'm also getting to see who they are before they come onto the island, just to prepare myself. So without further ado, we're about to see who the first official villager moving onto the island is in three, two, one. Oh, where are they? Hello? Oh my God, it's that girl with the bob. Miss Felicity. Felicity is the first official villager. <laughs> Wait, I accept this. And this is kind of exciting for me too, because this island that I'm creating, Camp Radic, is a concept island. And even the villagers, I really want villagers that fit the summer camp vibe. Spoiler alert, um, there are going to be horror elements. Like I said, this island will be inspired by the quarry. So I think I want to try and find villagers who sort of fit that summer camp horror movie, as well as werewolves, <laughs> specifically wolf villagers. Um, yeah, so maybe Felicity here will be a victim on the island if she moves out. <gasps> Ooh, I just figured that out. Every time I kick out a villager, they can just die. Ooh, because I'm planning on doing a graveyard on this. <gasps> oh my God, I love figuring things out as I go. Okay, so Felicity, if you ever do get kicked off the island, um, you are going to D-word, just be prepared. But she does look like someone who would be in the quarry, right? Um, shout out to the Amanda Files, who's also doing a horror theme island right now. So taking inspiration from her too. Hey, bestie, how's it going? Oh my gosh, look how many iron nuggets I just got from this rock. Great. While I'm on this island as well, we might as well harvest all the rocks and the trees. That's the other reason why I like to do a villager hunt on the second day, just so we're able to finish the shop as soon as we can. Um, oh no, I'm gonna actually die this time. Wait, fuck. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got the wasp. I did not want to pass. Oh, but you get Nook Miles for passing out. That's what it is. You have to get stung twice, die, and then you get the Nook Miles. Oh, well, it's too late for that. I don't need the Nook Miles anymore, I'm already villager hunting. And here we have some coconuts as well, so we can plant those back on the mainland and get even more Nook Miles out of that. Unfortunately though, I don't have a ladder, so I'm not able to go up to that cliff yet, but I do have the welting pole, so thankfully <laughs> we could just chop all these trees over here. There's a lot over here anyways, so it's all good. Plus we get some free pears. Is it worth digging up the lilies? Eh. Nah, I mean, if these are my sister flowers, I can always get them later on. I just chopped down all the trees that I could until my ax broke. So now I'm gonna need a tree branch to get another one. Shout out to this randomly placed workbench that was just here, even though this is an uninhabited island. Ax is crafted and back to grinding. I'm almost done chopping all these trees down. I don't know how much wood I have left, but, or how much wood I've caught, but we'll see in a bit, ooh, ooh. First of all, I've chopped down every tree and look at the progress I made. Wow, 24 pieces of wood already? That's surprising. 19 softwood, 17 hardwood. So we're basically halfway there. That's good. I caught a bottle. Ooh, I wonder who's in this bottle. Three, two, one. Shep, shout out to Shep, the second bottle of the day and an acoustic guitar, ooh. I was debating on doing some fishing while I was here for blathers, but unfortunately I only have two spots left in my pockets. So I guess we're gonna have to do that another time, maybe when after the shop is done. The island right now is pretty big anyway, so I guess like we could just do our critter catching back on the mainlands. All right, I've hit this rock and I actually managed to do it eight times in a row too, that's great. And with that, it gave me 20 iron nuggets just off one island alone. So I'm making some good progress already. We might be able to finish up this shop immediately. We have made it to the second island and the second villager moving in is, are you? F I forgot he was a lazy villager. Oh my God, it's the snitch. This is a horror themed island. He is definitely gonna be the first victim. Anchovy, you are gonna die as soon as you move on to the island. To the anchovy stands, I'm so sorry. Expect his grave to come soon. This confirms that there will be at least one villager hunt in the near future. 
because best believe I'm kicking this man off as soon as I can. This man is gonna tattle on me. He is gonna snitch to the wolves, 100%. He would turn into a werewolf on purpose just so he can kill people. That's the type of person Anchovy is. He would think it would give him some riz. I cannot wait. I cannot wait for this man's downfall. Anchovy haters rise up. Oh my God. And of course my shovel breaks on the island I'm with Anchovy. Like, of course it does. Of course it... Mm. <laughs> I am angry that Anchovy has to move on to my island in case you can't tell. Hopefully I'm going to be able to chop enough trees down on this island to get everything required for the shop so then we can just take it easy on the next island. But let's see. Wow, I already got 30 wood. It's so strange to me every time I get the wood first because remember the days when the wood was like the rarest one out of all of them and it would never spawn? Nowadays, I feel like it spawns so much easier for me. Like I get more wood than I do softwood which is so strange. I feel like they did something behind the scenes to fix the ratio, but they just never made it public. Data miners, can you do your research and see if that's true? <laughs> did they fix the odds of wood? Mm. Okay, wait, what do you mean my pockets are full already? These are iron nug, do I have 30? Oh, <laughs> nice. That's one more completed. So all I need are softwood and hardwood. A few moments. Are you kidding me? I chopped down every single tree and I got 29 pieces of heart. I need one more. <laughs> one more. Are we sure that I've chopped down every tree? I need to double check. Did I get this one back here? Yes. Oh my God. One. I just need one more piece of hardwood. On to the next island, I guess. Hopefully I find it over there. My pockets are full too, so I'm clearly in struggle town right now. Here we are, the final island, and the normal girl that's moving on to our island is... <gasps> she has to move back into my life. Oh my God. See, like I'm fearing for my life right now, but at the same time, the way she works perfectly for my island, Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Uh, stop attacking her. Oh my God, just say hi. I wasn't expecting to meet anyone on this tour. I'm Coco and you're Viz from Camp Radic. I'm glad you stopped by to talk to me. One thing I love about traveling is the chance to make new friends. Oh my God. The way she can literally be the demon that causes people to turn into werewolves. <gasps> She's coming back into my life. Y'all remember her from El New? All the drama she caused over there. The fact that she was literally accused of murder before. She works perfectly. Coco's back. Angry Coconut and Coco reunited. Oh, right. I need a hardwood. Oh my gosh, please. 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 Oh, thank you. And just like that, I have enough materials to donate to the shops as well. So... What an exciting day this has been so far. I have every single thing all at once ready to go and they're making me pick the location. And if you've noticed the trend so far with my buildings, you probably know where this is gonna go. On the beach, far away from everything. So I can figure out where I wanna put it later on. Ta-da! <laughs> and just like that, Nook's Cranny officially unlocked. The villagers that are moving onto the island are already here, but we won't be seeing them for a few more days because, you know, that's day three activities. I still do have to catch and donate my 15 critters and fossils to the museum, but honestly, I think I'm gonna hold off on that for now just because I am debating if I even want to upgrade my museum. The more I look at it, the more fun I think it would be for it to just be in its tent right over here in this thing, especially because like I have my museum on the other island anyways. So what's the point in having two of them? This is our chance to try something new. I don't make any promises though, because if you do see me upgrade my museum in the future, shh, pretend this never happened. I think day two is officially complete. And that means we're moving on to day three, which will be in next week's video because my gosh, I have to edit this and get it out on time. So yeah, I'll see y'all next week. Hopefully things will get even crazier by then because we get to see our three villagers move in as well as the campsite villager, which I'm so excited for. Please, please, Animal Crossing Gods, give me Pietro. That's all I want.